We are out to a lovely start this morning. It was up at four o'clock, came here early, here at 5.30, load the trailer. No power to the ramps. Almost 6.30 now, got her all set. Heading out, maybe day one. around the building in the back. It's kind of tight back here, but once we get out to this open spot right here, I want to hold some frames, like a minute long. Just let us, you know? Okay. You got me. Got it. Okay. I think we should put the paper like right here, put the truck in front of it, do a move that truck thing. Okay. Morning world of asphalt, Rockland County, New York, 100,000 square feet, 1,000 ton paved today. Got a really exciting morning here. We got a special, special, <laughs> you can go, 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 keep filming, that'd be good. We got a special day going on here today. We are, this day has been 30 years in the making. We ha finally have our raised on black top Lee Boy edition. A lot of guys been asking, how come we didn't buy the first one? We wanted to do something a little different. They offered the uh, raised on black top series paver on the 8520. Uh, that was not the paver for us, and we're going to show you why in a couple minutes. Um, we got the Lee Boy family coming here today. We got W.I. Clark coming in, and uh, we're gonna lay this thousand ton with our brand new raised on black top edition paver. And we think it's the hottest paver on the market. It's a one-off. It's not available to the public just yet, but uh, we're making this video to uh, hopefully you guys will go out and buy some uh, pavers just like this one. Jimmy, move that truck. There she is, all her glory. This is a 2021. 8616D, with every bell and whistle and every option you could possibly have on it and a couple more. Now, I've talked in the past about paver sizing. I feel the paver market has got a great 20,000 pound machine and it's got a great 40,000 pound machine. We want something a little bigger, a little heavier, um, a little faster. Very hard to do to pack all of that material inside a small paver that it could do everything the small pa big paver can do in a small paver, because uh, obvious problems with pollution, hydraulics, DEF, and obviously it's been a problem for years, is keeping these pavers cool. Lee Boy has been at this for some time, um, and they knocked it out of the park. And this paver, we believe, is gonna be our go-to guy. We have our 20,000 pound machine, we have our 40,000 pound machine. This paver is gonna do these parking lots with ease. No strain on the paver and no strain on the guys. And that's why we chose a 16. And I'm gonna show you why now. The ultimate paving machine. All right, let's start off up top. So obviously you can see the awesome paint scheme and our beautiful red seats with the raised on black top, which is a little bit of fluff, but you might as well, if you're gonna pave, you might as well pave in style. This does have most of the tool carrying kit that the 8520 has, but it's a little bit different because this has not been manufactured yet. They did this a little special for us. Um, the upgrades are coming, but what's really sharp about this paver, fully push button, reversible augers, reversible belts. This is our steering knob here. This is brand new to Lee Boy. No steering wheel, no joysticks. This is set it and forget it. You'll turn it and it'll hold. You click it back and it'll go straight. It also has a assist meter to keep this thing straight. Now let's get to the bones of this machine. Power crown, electric heat, we have electric heat for our end gates, our extensions, our main screed on both sides. I'm not sure yet, but I believe you could even shut the main off and just run the ends if you wanted extra heat. The generator on this machine is bigger, stronger, newer. Now here's the bones, and this is why we went with this. 15 foot six wide, and this is a 4,500 pound screed. Um, two guys standing on the back, you're looking at a 5,000 pound screed. Um, historically, what we would hear from guys who were not in the small paver market was that, um, yeah, nice little paver, the screed's not heavy enough, 
Um, this is a nice little paver and the screed is heavy enough. Um, obviously you can see again, a little joy in paving. We put the red poly pads on it, cost a few bucks, but hell with it, we did it. We obviously have our raised on blacktop special edition, tunnel fed, self-cleaning, 130 horse Cummings engine. Big pumps, big augers. This baby is gonna move some mix quickly, efficiently, uh, and I think efficiently is the word here because we, again, our 40,000 pound will move asphalt quickly, um, but we don't want handwork. This baby's not gonna have any handwork. Now come take a look. We have our lighting system here. These not only go in and out, up and down, you can also take this off. If you have a problem with your machine, this has about a three foot cord. You can actually use it for a light to work on your machine underneath if you get caught on the job. We also have our extensions. Same button up here. This does two functions. Right here, look down there, Shane. Slope and berm. So it has the berm attachment and the slope attachment. I don't know all the buttons yet. We also have power crown, which we like to use because we need this as we go. We don't want to be cranking a crown if we want to adjust a little bit on the fly. We also have our eight foot level tucked right in. Now the reason we feel that this is the ultimate paving machine for doing parking lots, big or small, and, and minor roadways and subdivisions I can run this deck this with three guys. I can run it with two, you can run it one. This deck has three positions. The high deck, swing out chairs, mid, mid height, which would be right here. And you also can take your controls off, put them on the bottom and stand on the street. And in a pinch, one guy could drive this paper. Again, with the bigger hydraulics, the bigger engine, and the electric switches, as you can see, I'm only at an idle here. This thing moves pretty quickly. No problem, there's no drag on that at all. So it moves with the speed and the agility of the smaller paver, but it also has three inch guide bars. So this thing's a bit beasty. So that's a quick walk around. I guess the, uh, the proof will be in the pudding and uh, we're gonna heat this baby up right now and put her to work, see what she can do. up his screed, his gates automatically close. We're learning this as we go. We go full automation on this. Two, three passes in, had to make a few adjustments. We waited until she got a little hot to do that. Pretty typical on day one of the machine. Uh, we're getting close to these straightaways, so then we should get her dialed in. All right, morning. So we're here with the WI Clark people. I have Stuart Clark here, one of the owners of the company. And I got Carl Roderick, who's been with us for 25 years. Yeah, about that. How long have you been with Clark? About 25 years. Yeah, Clark has been in the construction industry for... for 95 years. 1925. 1925. So. Um, you know, a lot of people ask us where we buy our equipment, where do we buy our pavers, um, where do we buy anything, you know, and when I tell them I buy locally, a lot of guys will tell me that, 
You know, I can go to North Carolina and buy one cheaper. I can go to uh, North, um, New Jersey and get one cheaper. We buy service. We're looking for service. We don't even care about the brand as long as I know the guy I can buy it from can service the, the machine. Uh, W.I. Clark has proven themselves to us over the years that those are the guys for the service. So we've been with them for close to 30 years now and um, we're pretty happy with their company. But we're here this morning with our Lee Boy 8616 that they just delivered to us. Um, and we'd have to do a special thanks to Lee Boy, all the engineers involved, all the marketing people involved, and the entire Lee Boy family um, really went above and beyond to get us this paver here. Not only um, to do all the upgrades that we were looking for, but also the timing. I know right now that equipment's impossible to get, and um, we were able to squeak this one through. Um, so um, we're about four loads into this paver this morning. Everything's going well. And um, we just wanted to make a special thanks to our entire family here. Yeah, and we just, we just look at uptime with very good customers like uh, American Payment Specialties. Uptime is super critical. And uh, we appreciate their business. And having everything running is uh, the, of the utmost importance. So that's what, that's what we're all about. Thank you, Bill. Thank you. Appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. B so far reminds me a lot of 8530, but better. I'll tell you what, the berm is badass. We'll show you the berm in a little bit. All right, I got to shovel out this corner here. I got a rookie on the shovel. So instead of yelling at him, I'm just going to pop a little berm up right here and keep going. So far, we're getting exactly what we want out of this machine. We wanted more horsepower, and we needed faster auger speeds. We're gonna really pump this mix out, and that's exactly what it does. It's a great mid-sized paver. See that? Nothing's falling off. It's all good. You know what I love about this paver? It performs like the Volvo or the Cat 555. It's got the power, the horsepower, the speed. But the pad, look at that. It's only this big. You only need a half a ton, maybe a quarter. You make a pad for a Volvo and a parking like this all day, you'll know it. Even at the prison, baby. So I'll show you the first victim of the year. Sitting over there in the shade on the trailer.
quality diet right there. Watermelon and a little bit of diesel fuel. Make as strong as a bull. According to CDC. <laughs> That's science guideline. <laughs> Hey guys, that's a wrap. Thanks for sticking around. For those of you that did stick around, I got a special promo code for you, 20%. Promo code friends and family, all lowercase letters. 20% friends and family. Thanks guys.